What's going on guys? Geosnow right here, welcome to Mode My Eye. In today's video we're going to take a look at Redstone Insider Preview. Now this tweak allows you to get the Windows Phone user interface on your iOS device. Now as you can see in here it's already applied and it looks like these. Of course you can customize the colors of these um, uh, tiles in here and it's definitely looking okay. You have the, um, the applications on the start screen in here and you also have your app drawer in here. We're going to get into that later. So the, uh, the tweak itself is still in uh, Insider Preview. I'm going to show you here. It's a Redstone Insider Preview. So you should still expect bugs. It's still buggy and it's still under development. So uh, yeah, but if you want to try it, you're going to be able to get it from the following repo in here, which is um, festival.ml slash repo slash. And this is where you get the tweak from. Now, what it lets you do. So the current features are pin, unpin, resize and rearrange tiles. Let's see that. Well, you have the, um, the start screen here with your applications as I said. And for those of you who are not familiar with Windows Phone, you actually have this, um, this squares in here that are called tiles. And um, the tiles can either be, you know, live tiles or static tiles. These ones in here are static because only sh they only show the icon of the application and the name of it. A live tile also shows info from inside the application, like the, um, I don't know, the weather or some notifications and so on. Now, um, you can see that the city application tile in here also has a one, and that is the number of notifications. It's going to increase as per the number of notifications from inside the application. This is how Windows shows the, uh, the notifications count. Okay, so uh, let's move swiftly on. You have, as I said, these tiles that can be resized and moved. For example, you have the phone one and I want to make it smaller. So this is the normal size or you can even make it even smaller, which is this one in here. Of course, it can be moved. It can be um, moved across. You can put it anywhere you want. And this one is the, um, is the biggest tile. Now, normally on Windows, not all applications support this size in here, but on this tweak, you can definitely make any application have that kind of size if you want to. Okay, so let's move a little bit to the uh, drawer. If you, if you swipe to the left, you're going to see the drawer in here containing a list of all the applications that are currently installed on your device. And um, this list is of course sorted alphabetically and if you press on any of the letters in here, for example B, it's going to show you the alphabet and you can press on any of the, uh, the letters to go directly to there. For example O and I have the Outlook Calendar and Outlook Mail. Now if I want to, uh, to remove any of this, I can hold on the application and either pin it to start, but it's already pinned, or uninstall it. Now this is exactly how it looks like on the Windows Phone, so it's definitely a one-to-one -one copy. If I press uninstall, I'm going to get this, remove calendar, removing this application from your home screen will not delete your calendars or calendar data. So I'm going to say remove, and it's done. Now. Um, this is a search bar where you can uh, search for a specific application and as you can see it does work. So a pretty good job on that. Let's go uh, to the uh, next thing here. You can see it disappeared from the uh, screen. For some reason this keyboard is still in here, which isn't a good sign. As I said, the application, uh, sorry, the tweak still has bugs that have to be fixed. But again, this is only an insider preview. Now uh, the next one is launch apps from the app list and quickly navigate using jump list. Now I have already shown you that is the app drawer. Then you have the tile badges, notification counts, updates and so on. And that is exactly what I have already uh, told you with CD application. You can see it has a one in here, which is the updates or notifications count. Then you have the uninstall apps from within Redstone and I have already shown you that and per app launch screen which is uh, a little bit harder to show you. I don't know if it um, it gets into the recording because it happens pretty fast. Well, I'm going to try. Uh, when you're opening an application on Windows Phone, it shows you a splash screen for a couple seconds with the icon of that application. Let me try to show you with iFile. Yep, it does. As you can see, for, for just a second, you have that um, you know, that solid color background with the uh, icon of the application. That is it. And you can customize these colors, I'm going to show you later. And the last feature is um, extendable with the tile icons and per tile accent colors. So this involves us to go to the, um, uh, this involves us going to the settings uh, panel in here. 
okay? So if you go ahead, you're going to have redstone in here and it can be either on or off, which is nice. Then you have the components, start screen, lock screen and notifications. Now the start screen, I have already shown you that, the lock screen is going to be um, in a couple seconds and the notifications are looking like this currently, which isn't the best thing you have seen today, but it definitely looks quite okay when it's going to look, you know, when it's going to have that Windows feel to it, it's going to look pretty okay. But for the moment, it's some kind of hybrid between iOS and um, and Windows Phone, so definitely it's going to, to need some more work in here. Again, it's a um, insider preview. Then you have the volume control, which is still not available. It's a planned feature. And you have accent color, which um, if you go ahead in here, you can select, this is something specific for Windows, although um, Windows usually shows the, um, the color without the color code. But anyways, you have here the colors that your tiles can get. For example, if I wanna make my tiles pink instead of blue, I can do that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make them purple. I'm going to use this one, okay? And then you have the tile opacity, and you can of course fiddle with this, um, with this in here. Then you have show more tiles. Show more tiles enables a third column on four inch and 4.7 inch devices. This option is always enabled on 5.5 inch de devices. Now um, you have a uh, reset start screen layout, which is going to completely reset the um, any arrangements you've made, any uh, resizes and show and, and so on. And then you have the um, the restart screen board, which is necessary if you have uh, fiddle with tile opacity and accent color. So in order to apply my changes, I need to restart Springboard. Okay, so as you can see now, we are we are on the lock screen, which is definitely looking exactly like the one from uh, Windows Phone with time and date in this corner in here. For example, if I uh, if I fiddle a little bit with it, I can you know, drag it up and it's going to show you enter pin and it's definitely the keypad from Windows Phone. So I'm going to uh, input a random code in here and it looks like these. As you can see, I have uh, I have changed the uh, the tiles color and it's now that, you know, that fade uh, purple, but it looks quite okay. Let's go a little bit through the uh, plan of features. For that, we're going to need to go back into the, uh, into the CDM. And we're going to move on to the uh, tweak, a redstone insider preview. Okay, so the planned features are lock screen replacement with media support. Now, as you can see, the lock screen already exists, but it's, um, I don't know if it supports the uh, media yet. Then you have the system wide volume control, because for the moment, the volume control is still the one from, uh, from iOS. Then you have the notifications. As I said, the notifications are already in here, but they still need a little bit of work, as you can see. And then you have the uh, live tiles, another extension part. Again, the uh, live tiles are not the same as the static ones and the 3D touch support for tiles and app list, which is okay. It's uh, Redstone is based on Windows 10 Mobile, built 10.0. whatever. And please note that this is a pre-release preview with features that are subject to change at any time. So as I said, it does have bugs and it's not yet the release version. If you wanna try it on your device, you're free to do so. The uh, tweak is definitely free, at least for uh, for the moment. But again, expect a couple bugs, except, expect a couple of resprings and so on. But such is life. Anyways, this is, um, this is Redstone Insider Preview. Review. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Till the next time, do not forget, subscribe to Mod My Eye. Give this video a thumb up if you like it. If you don't, give it a thumb down. Tell me in the comment section down below if you've ever used a Windows Phone device in the past and peace out.